Hello and welcome to this introduction of the latest release of the manufacturer Hager. You can find an introduction of Hager with an overview of the manufacturer's products by browsing for Hager on our BIM Object Cloud. Amongst other products, Hager offers complete solutions and systems for electrical distribution in industrial buildings as well as the home. The on-floor, screed-covered, screed flush trunking systems UK, AK, BK, BKB and the service and supply units VE, EE are available now on BIMObject.com. On the product page 00 General Information Hager you can view the possible combinations of the systems. The trunking systems AK, BK and UK are combinable with the service units VE, EE, while the BKB trunking system is a standalone system. In this tutorial we will take a closer look at the screed flush trunking system BKB. Here at the product page you will find a short product presentation with images, a description text, links, related information and the classifications from this particular product. Using our latest technology BIM Supply Spaces you can take a look on the Revit demo project file. The preview will be shown directly within your browser, so you are able to have a first look at the project and navigate through it without downloading the file or owning any BIM software. Back on the portal page, in the download manager you will find the different file formats that are available. Besides these Archicad libraries and the Revit demo project file, which we already reviewed through spaces, you will also find the Revit families, which are packed up in one zip file. Please download both file formats. To get a better overview of the screed flush trunking system BKB, you will also find a detailed PDF product catalog, which is enclosed with every Hage system. The product catalogue is organised with a cover page including all product information shown within a system overview that contains all construction parts. This system overview will also be shown if you open the downloaded demo project file in Revit. As you can see here inside Revit, the Haga demo project file starts with the same sheet overview as the PDF catalogue. This bill of materials shows all parts of the trunking system as the upper and lower parts, brackets, coupling sets and device carriers. If you however want to import the system to your own project or start with a new project, we will show you within this tutorial what steps you need to take. First, open the project. You want to import the objects or start a new project as we are doing here with the electrical template file of Revit. Keep in mind that the BKB demo file must be opened as well to be able to import the products. Now go to the menu Manage and select Transfer Project Standards. Within the pop-up window choose the Target Hager project and select all cable tray options. You can simply override the existing types when the hint for duplicate types shows up. Please note, when you start a new project you need to load all BKB Revit families via Insert, Load Family and select all from the zip file which we have downloaded from the BIM object portal before. Your new project is now ready to use. The Hager trunking systems are developed as a cable tray system family, thus they are located at the default Revit location at Systems, Cable Trays. Within the properties you can choose the correct product and set its offset to the required value before you draw your cable tray system. The cable tray system family is parametric. If you want to change the length afterwards, simply select the cable tray and change the dimension. Please note, the maximum length of the Hager cable tray is 2 meters. Later I will explain how to ensure not to exceed the maximum size. By creating a 90 degree corner, the system automatically places an elbow element. As mentioned before, the length of one selling unit is 2 meters, so we recommend that you draw reference planes every 2 meters. This way Revit will be able to calculate the correct number of required pieces for your project.
By adding the necessary coupling set via cable tray fitting, the trunking system is being separated at the positions of the reference planes. Using the same function, you can add end plates to close the system. These objects are easy to handle in a 3D view as well, so let me show you how to add the upper part in there. Before placement, you should adjust the offset to its recommended value and choose between a close top, a brush or a brush for LEDs. Then you adjust the drawing mode to pick a line and the placement mode to place on work plane. Now you can place the object by clicking on the middle line of the lower part. Here's a little trick in Revit. If you have to change all covers in the project, for example, Right click on one of them and choose select all instances in entire project and then adjust the option in the property menu. As you can see it works the same way for the low angle bracket. While there's an option to change the alignment of the corner pieces, you can change the straight covers by clicking on the opposite arrows in the 2D view or by hitting the space button. If you use the space button, you can easily flip more than one object at a time. You can also set the floor covering height, which is limited from 5 to 20 mm. If you tooltip or hover over the instance properties family, you find additional information for the floor covering height of the cover. Don't forget to change this option at the corner and end pieces as well. To add the device carriers, you use the command component in the tab systems, then select the part you need to make sure that the placement is set to place on face. Now by clicking on the surface of your trunking system, the device carrier will be placed within the trunking system with its correct orientation. If you set the visual style to wireframe, you can check the position of the device carrier. As I mentioned before, Revit is able to calculate the number of required pieces, their sizes and properties. If you have imported the schedules by copying them to your clipboard and pasting them to your own project, you should now see a list of all the trunking parts you placed earlier. You can also create your own schedule if you want to have an individual list. They are categorized by cable trays, accessories and cable tray fittings. A warning will appear if you set the options of the components to values that are not in the range of the product catalogue. 
The Hager trunking systems are available now on bimobject.com. Thank you for watching.